watching the cops roll by. It ain't easy. Hey, y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again, and we're back at it on Tuesday, October 15th. We're in St. Mary's, Georgia, at the Walmart. Anyway, we just got this little shopping order on Spark. It's 16 bucks, shopping for five items, delivering three point something miles. <laughs> so, let's go shopping, y'all. Modular 21 should be this. Is it a men's caper? Good lord. Modular 13. All right, that should do it. Yep. Yeah. All right, y'all got our little shopping order done. They were out of the shaving oil this customer wanted. They suggested a substitute. We substituted and she immediately rejected. So we put it back. Sent her a message saying, sorry, there's a bare spot on the shelf where the shaving oil is supposed to be. Anyway, it's three miles to the customer. And we are on our way. It's a very easy shopping order. Five items and they were all really right there together. All right, Joshua, thanks for your business, buddy. Have a terrific day. All right, y'all, we got that little Walmart shopping order dropped off, delivered to that guy before. We just got an Uber Eats order. It's all right. It's $5.86 or something going about two miles. Maybe less. Um, I don't remember it might say three point something miles but I was over here dropping off at this guy's house and you know I've got to come back this way anyway to get to where the restaurants are and to get back to Walmart and all that so by the time I get to Chick-fil-a which I was gonna be driving right past anyway you know it, this might be a mile and a half or two miles let's go get some chicken action y'all
All right, y'all, we dropped that Uber Eats trip. The food wasn't ready. We went inside Chick-fil-A, but food wasn't ready. And we got a uh, DoorDash. The map turned red all of a sudden. We got a DoorDash order for Taco Bell. Four bucks. <laughs> Short miles. I don't remember, but it, was, it wasn't upside down. Here we go to Taco Bell, y'all. Thanks, Rick. Well, it's been a long time since I picked up a DoorDash order at the Kings on Taco Bell. They, uh, they're doing this new thing where they make you it's like checking into a doctor's office. They make you make you print your name or no, you, I think you print the name of the customer and then you mark how many drinks and how many bags are in the order and then you sign your name. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Anyway, that took quite a while in Taco Bell. They're usually really fast at my local Taco Bell. But they were packed. I'll give them that. Anyway, while we were in there, this is a $4 Taco Bell, and we got a $6 Zaxby's added on by DoorDash while we are in there, and had to decline like a $12 Uber Eats order. Good grief. Anyway, here we go get some chicken finger action. All right, y'all, we got our Taco Bell and our Zaxby's in the hot bag here. And we're 1.9 miles away from the first drop. I don't know who's who here. Kalen first, the Taco Bell order. City Hall, okay. I believe I've delivered to her before. Here we go to the Kingsland City Hall, y'all. Are you Kayla? Yes. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Thank you very much. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. We got our Taco Bell dropped off at City Hall. And now we're dropping off our Zaxby's at an elementary school. 1.4 miles. Y'all don't have like a little table for DoorDash orders or anything? I don't have a table. I just pop in and out. Thank you. Hi. Um, Nicole S. Okay, if you don't mind just putting it on the table right there, I will buzz her. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. Hey, we just got one of those Folkestone, Georgia Uber Eats orders. So, <laughs> Folkestone, Georgia has a fantastic Thai restaurant, believe it or not. We've got 
McDonald's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, and a Thai restaurant called Thai Smile. Anyway, um, this is for Thai Smile. It was it came in first, fourteen dollars for seven miles, and we declined it. And then about four or five minutes later, came back to our phone, twenty four dollars and change for seven miles and change. So now we're going to pick it up, but got a bad feeling about it. I've tried to call them to place the order, and I'm getting a busy signal, a weird busy signal. So, I don't know, are they closed for some reason on a Tuesday afternoon? Just ahead. I don't know. It's gonna suck if I drive all the way up here and they're closed. What? We opened at 4 o'clock. I know, I just, uh, let me show you this. I just got an order on Uber Eats. They, oh, want, they want me to come here and order this food and pay for it and then deliver it. Uh, actually, um, we didn't do that, but you ordered already? Uh, no, I tried, I called, but nobody answered because oh. you're closed, I guess, but. What did you order this one? Uh, steak hibachi and shrimp hibachi. Are you hungry? Well, this is for another, this is for, another I'm one. delivering it. Oh. I'm delivering it to someone else. See, Uber, you don't have a, a country. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but Uber has made it so that in Folkestone, I can actually deliver from any restaurant in Folkestone. Uh, I have to pay for the food. You pay for it and then you give it to them. And then Uber reimburses me uh -huh. for the, so is there so any way to do that? Steak, steak hibachi and shrimp hibachi? Can you wait a second, I can, I can do it for you. Thank you. Steak and shrimp, right? Steak hibachi and shrimp hibachi. Okay, I will do for you. Wait a second. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, so I got here and found out that they close every day from 2.30 p.m. until 4 p.m. So they close for an hour and a half every day, and they just closed about 15, 20 minutes ago. But I bumped into the guys, and they said they would make this order for me. So... I'm sure it'll be a little while, but it is 24 bucks, and I ain't got nothing better to do, so <laughs> might as well. Thank you so much. This is me. This is Jim. Let me trip. Okay, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. You all have a great day. All right, y'all. We got our steak hibachi and our shrimp hibachi picked up. Had to pay with our own phones, of course. Always have to. See, here's the deal. I'm probably, at this point, I'm probably America's leading expert on... <laughs> Uber Eats order and pay. Just ahead, Perdono. I've probably done 50 of them. <laughs> and when it's order and pay, turn left on the You uh, the restaurant doesn't have a contract with Uber Eats. And so Uber Eats has no access to the restaurant's prices. You know, they just kind of like Google <laughs> the restaurant prices and those prices might be 5 years old. So they don't know the price of the food. <laughs> so anyway, this was $5 more than what Uber Eats expected it to cost. Well, when you say that, when you mark in the app, you have to mark in the app whether you're paying with your own money or with the Uber card. Well, when you mark that you're using the Uber card, you can't adjust the price. <laughs> it won't let you. 
when you mark that you're paying with your own funds, then it will let you adjust the price. And you have to take a picture of the receipt and everything. And so, y'all, I've done this a million times. I know the drill. There's basically no way to pay with the Uber card. Not in folks in Georgia, anyway, which is where I mostly do order and pay. I have done a few in uh, Kingsley. But anyway, we are, uh, what, two miles away from the customer? Yeah, two miles away. This is this order is a piece of cake, 24 bucks and some change. Of course, it was almost $40, so now, <laughs> now uh, Uber owes me about $64. But they'll they'll pay me. They always do. They've never failed. They'll reimburse me. Hey there. Are you Kaylin? Have you got a uh, little four-digit code for me? Four-digit number? Uh, Should have like a pin number. Oh, 3789. All right. That's one of them. And that's the other one is steak and one is shrimp. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, we got our Thai smile dropped off. It was all base pay, no tip, which is, I mean, fine. It was $24.5 base pay. <laughs> Just think, with a decent tip, a little $5 tip or something, could have been $29, but that's all right. I'll take the 24 bucks for seven miles. And the nice people at the Thai restaurant made the food for me even though they were closed. Man, that's awesome. I thought I was gonna get $3 for driving up to the restaurant and back home. And y'all, a lot of times when I do these order and pay orders, drop them off, before I can get back home, I've already been reimbursed. So that means we made 50 bucks. Today was a disaster, by the way. <laughs> we were, we could have made a good bit more money, but we were trying to get DoorDash orders. And all we got was that one stack. They made 10 bucks on DoorDash a day, two orders, and it didn't even raise our acceptance rate. Um, we did one $16 Spark shopping order. And now this $24.5 Uber Eats order. So, 50 bucks. It's not too terrible. I mean, we didn't do much work today. Anyway, I guess that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding along with me. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. The road to platinum will continue tomorrow. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Good to